Okay, the let's uh, let's discuss the last part and uh, so this is uh, so there's another thing so generating random numbers generating random numbers here you can see the pick uh, random number so I'll discuss this part uh, next day how to so this is not actually the real random this is called pseudo random borrow random random make a computer king had an okay calculate the other computer is focused it's a calculator no it's about a random kill again a humble son care what kill again it a humble son care again not gonna cut the lagan a humble a hindi can random money the advanced algorithm random name the lottery a coffee had a pull on water may want it look at a young park type corona killer while a paha guest corona pull on the killer uh, the king. So you can just create small game, small lottery game. You can generate some random numbers and right. So just uh, let's let's try this. Make up and try Okay. So here, so here they have used forever loop. So I'm going to use control uh, this event and I'm going to use space key for this and forever. Forever means if uh, I'm just repeating this and asking to generate random numbers from what random numbers from one to hundred <coughs> without uh, stopping. Without stopping, need to generate right. So continuously generate this without stopping, right? <coughs> let's have a variable. <coughs> variable. Let's say y. Um, and set uh, y to from here you can get uh, operations pick random from one to hundred and then you say and say this for to looks say this <coughs> say this random number is y and uh, you just uh, so here waiting part you can add so and i have just added same thing right so x and wait one second so that can be added one once and say y and wait two seconds so wait one second same thing so when you press the space key you can see 66 32 39 66 85 70 23 99 38 17 91 likewise it's continuously generating the random numbers okay how can you convert this to a lottery day okay so you can ask from the right so without using forever i'm just generating five random numbers and storing in my own variables without using this just using repeat 10 times generating some random numbers without saying it without saying it i'm going to stop that in y so five random numbers i'm going to store in the y in y <coughs> okay uh, so let's say no need to repeat 10 times even just repeat mm. Okay, just repeat. Let's give like uh, five chances, five chances to get the number. Then I'm asking, okay, I'm telling this sense in, ask, first asking what is your prediction, your predicted number. So you're asking your predicted number, what is that? And when you give the answer, so let's take another variable. This is your number, yn. Yn is your number. Your number, and I'm just setting this your number to the answer. Set yn to the. So if anything unclear, please ask, right? Nikam mahangi nepa manari tere neta na. Set yn to the answer. Me aadhi na answer ke tamam set karna. Set yn to the answer. Then you are getting a random number also. You are getting a random number also. And then you have to compare both. Compare both. That means you can do you here this one, and you can just go to the control. If 
and you can just add these. I'm just going to drag this to some corner. Okay, keep this now. Uh, if these are equal, if your guess is equal to the random number, so how to check the equality here, yeah, this one. If your, your guess, your guess is yn and the random number is y. If both are equal, you can give some marks. Let's say marks, another variable, marks. Or, uh, or you can say um, amount, amount you get. So initially you don't have money in your account, amount is zero. But when you guess, when you guess, when you guess, when it is equal, you are getting amount, not getting actually, you have to change amount or you can say, yeah, it's okay, set amount to the current amount, whatever you have. Then at the end amount, the current amount is zero initially. But to that I'm adding, let's say 100. I'm adding 100. Else, if your guess is fail, so nothing to do, basically nothing to do. Uh, let's say, let's say, sorry, say, sorry. And finally, after repet repetition, finally, what you are going to say, say, uh, let's add join, say, you won. And you have to tell the amount. Amount is this amount. Now this is small gain. Understood? So here, let me press the space bar. Your predicted number. I'm predicting. I'm predicting. Fifty-seven. And I'm predicting twenty-three. I'm predicting two. Seventy-three. And 83. You want zero. Nothing. Nothing in my hand. Right. So uh, just do again. So let's let's use small amount, right? Otherwise, I will lose every all this. Let's use one to five. Small random range. Refresh, stop, and okay. Just trying to do it again. Predicted number one. One. Oh, I it got two. Predicted number four, you got three. Oh, predicted number three, you got five. Predicted number five, four, still not five, still not. I'm unlucky, right? So it's showing the number both numbers, right? Here, this is y is your number and the predicted number. Always I'm getting this. It's unlucky. <laughs> Let's try. Let's let's use one and two. So poor prediction. <laughs> Space. It's one. Enter. One. Enter. Okay, I got hundred. So yes, equal. Two. No. Two again. No. Two again. Only hundred. So see how unlucky I am, right? So always. So these lotteries are not working for me. You just try. Create this lottery. But you <coughs> just give some large value, right? Let's, yeah, let's give like some large, at least 10. Otherwise, this is like a silly game. You always win some amount. Just try it. The Mage prediction, I got some money. I'm going to get some money. OK, I got this. Luckily, I got 100. Four. No, four again. No, the final amount I, I got is 100. Okay, so just take this down or take a screenshot of this. <coughs> this is advancement of alteration of the things in your book. So you have small thing in your book, but what I have done, I have enhanced that. Now this is a game. So these variables, you don't want to share these multiple, you can just keep, untick this. Amount, amount is needed. 
these two are not needed so you can untick you can then you can see these are the only variables okay just write down this or oh, take a screenshot of this with that i'm going to stop for today next day we will do important thing about the colors and draw in how to draw in the screen that part i'm planning to do in next day and anyway with that you are so there's another lesson there is arrays those are the only two areas which is to be covered in the book but don't worry we will do more because this part is interesting i want you to enhance your coding skills therefore i'll develop small game and also storytelling okay okay then take a screenshot quickly see you all, all next week good night bye good night sir goodbye sir good night sir